yearn for battle. During the end of the later Han, the land was in chaos due to the power struggles that had erupted within the Imperial Court. In addition, repeated natural disasters and poor harvests had aggravated the suffering of the people. In this period of turmoil, a man by the name of Zhang Jiao appeared. He began to teach the way of peace in Ji province and brought help to the common people winning their hearts almost immediately. Then, in the year 184, he rises up in revolt against the imperial court. His yellow turbans rose up in every district across the land. History would later refer to this as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The imperial court unsuccessfully tries to suppress them, but is defeated. The fate of the 400-year-old Han Dynasty is about to be decided. Hey, you heard? They say them Celestial Masters types have appeared in the area. Celestial Masters? Who are they? I thought the Yellow Turbans were the ones everyone was talking about. No, the guys are all somewhere east of Luo Yang. Here in the West, it's these Celestial Master guys that are saying they're gonna fix what's wrong in the world. Oh, hey, wait a second. So if they're here now... Yep, it means there's gonna be fighting around here soon. And I know someone who's seen them, and he said there's even some girl caught up in this. What, really? Well, I'm gonna get my stuff together and get ready to run. I don't wanna get caught up in this stuff. Uh, it looks like something's going on over here. It looks like it might be fun to go wild here. Hua Xiong, an officer of strong physique, standing over two and a half meters tall. He was a brave ruler who had a tendency to quickly lose his temper, yet he was also quick to regain his cool. However, he served no one and spent his days focusing on nothing but his training as a warrior. Right. First, let's do something about these celestial masters or whatever they are. And I guess while I'm at it, I may as well help that girl too. This will be my first fight, so I'm gonna make it a good one. So now a little girl's gotten herself involved in all this. Well, I'll just have to go and save her in between fights.
should I get for you? Please, come and get... What? I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your... Business. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. Need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. The Imperial Army is... Hey! Get on in here! Come again! Huh. Hey! Get on in here! Again.
Welcome, welcome! Do please come again. Welcome, welcome. Do please come again. Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! Attack! None shall pass this gate that Master Zhang Lu has entrusted me to guard! Oh. They don't look very strong, though. Well, at least they should make a good warm-up exercise. Still just getting warmed up. Now, where's my next enemy? Master Zhang Lu, a fierce warrior is upon us. Whether the man belongs to the Imperial forces or is a mere bandit, we cannot be certain. What is one more man? When we have my sorcery, we shall simply bury them all. Fun. Yeah. Hey. Uh. 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 Uh
a skirmish among peons. Well, as long as I'm here, I might as well help finish things up. What's with this guy? He's way too strong. How could he take on so many opponents? Is he some kind of monster? I was just getting started. Is there anyone here who can give me a challenge? To think a single man could trouble us so. Is my power too weak to stop him? Control of this territory. A supply depot in a place like this, huh? I suppose I ought to just smash it to bits then. These supply depots are our very lifeline. We will protect them at all costs.
kind of a lot of soldiers to be stationed at mere supply depots, don't you think? Well, whatever. Now then, where's my next enemy? Well, that was fun. Supply depots have been destroyed? So we cannot employ the use of my sorcery then. If it has come to this, there is nothing for it. All forces, deal with these meddling rabble at once! Hey! Here I go! Though we rallied in unison, we were halted by a single man. <laughs> See that? I am the strongest. No one can defeat me. That's quite the vulgar laugh you've got there. Well, at least it looks like you might prove useful. believe this. Finally, someone comes to help me, and it's this uncultured lout? Wasn't there anyone a little more civilized? What? Is that your way of thanking someone for helping you? Well, whatever. I was just here looking for a fight. You were just kind of there, so I don't really care about thanks or anything. You weren't coming to rescue me? So just who are you? I'm Hua Xiong. I got kind of tired training by myself, so I just was here looking for someone to fight. That's who I am. You were just looking for a fight? You really like to fight that much. All right, then come with me. My grandfather is important. He's a commander of the force fighting the yellow turbans. I was just on my way to find him. I'll get grandfather to hire you. Then you'll be part of his force and can fight the yellow turbans to your heart's content. Oh, hire me. Why should I work for someone I don't even know? Now that that's decided, let's hurry and go. You don't want to keep Grandfather waiting, do you? By the way, my name is Dong Bai. If you're going to be working for Grandfather, then you can call me Lady Dong Bai. Just what's with this girl? She's like in some world of her own. But I guess if it means I get into a fight, it really doesn't matter who I have to work for. The yellow turbans, is it? It would mean I get to fight against a large army. So maybe I will follow along. Princess, what are you doing here? 
I came to help you, of course. Also, I met someone who wanted to take service with you, so I brought him. This guy is called Hua Xiong. He's still pretty coarse, but he does have some fighting skill. Hua Xiong, what are you just standing there for? Hurry up and say hello to Grandfather. I don't really get what's going on, but I was told I could fight the Yellow Turban, so I followed her. It's nice to meet you. Hey, watch how you speak to Grandfather. Don't you dare be rude. It's all right, Princess. A pretty girl like you shouldn't be making that face. You said your name was... Hua Zhong, right? You go and lead my force to the front lines. I'll be waiting here for your return. Oh, all of a sudden, you're gonna let me just go wild? I didn't think I'd get to do that quite so soon. I've always wanted to lead a force. Grandfather, are you sure? You've never seen him fight before. And that's exactly why I want to know if I can use him, and I'll find that out in battle. If he can't lead a force, then I have no use for him. I see. So it's both a test and a trial. I should have known you had a reason. Hua Xiong? As an officer of Dong Zhuo, I expect you to do your best out there. I'll never forgive you if you bring shame to Grandfather's name. Leave it to me. I'll easily wipe out those yellow turban riffraff. All right, I'm gonna crush those yellow turbans. You can count on me, Lord Dong Zhuo. Hey, get on in here! Sir, this is a miracle bestowed upon me by the heavens! Ah! What just happened? Soldiers just appeared out of nowhere! Thank you. 